And welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our EVE Online Chronicle. This is the fifth episode, so it's the last one I'll be recording before jumping back over to Elite Dangerous for five episodes there. Let me get the clock up, and there we go. Got the timer started. Let's go ahead and get to it. Okay. Marked for death. We've been looking tirelessly over all the intelligence you delivered to me. A lot of it we already knew, but after some cross-analysis, we discovered that there was a particular location that only Lieutenant Kiris and a few others had access to. Kiris caved when he saw that we knew the coordinates to his employer's hideout. This guy's alias is Izia Tabar. He's a battle-hardened smuggler baron. Concord's wanted him for a long time now. Okay. We have his location, Lincoln Grimm. Can we rely on you to end this? I'd expect his place to be well defended, but if we lose him now, it all counts for nothing. Well, we better not let that happen. And warp to location. We're all loaded up on ammo. Combat tab. We'll put the missiles on this guy coming in right away. And this guy will get the guns. That worked out well. Okay. All right, we got more. Guns on this one as soon as he breaks ten kilometers. Put everything on this guy. This is a Zia. Tabar, the guy that was mentioned in the quest. The mission. <laughs> oh, he's hitting pretty hard. Okay, and we can dock now. Mission accomplished. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, well. Can I stop it yet? No. So, no wreck loots. No <laughs> wreck loots, no looting of the wrecks. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Let's go ahead and 
before turning this in, let's go ahead and unload all the stuff I have in here. Not the antimatter, not the missiles. Uh, all the rest of it, though. Item hanger. Okay, that that did what I wanted it to. Well, yeah. Yeah, we'll sell everything. I was thinking about keeping that droid, but... <laughs> droid? Uh, drone? But decided against it. So we're just letting this list populate. And then we'll scroll down. We'll take out everything that's red. Right, sell. Well, I guess I can keep the drone. Uh, seriously, no, nah, there's no... When I get the drones, I want them all to be the same, and they're probably going to be Kaldari drones. Let's reprocess this. I think Hornets is what I was going after. Populate. There we go. Oh, we are sitting at 18.7 million isk. Okay, you need to finish your current layout complete. You have done exceptionally well, Lincoln Grimm. Our teams will head over to Talbar's compound now and comb the area for further evidence. Get back to me when you are ready for one last assignment. It is about time the Minmatar repaid you for all you've done, and I have some information about how we can make that happen. Alright, what information do you have? Before you arrived, we managed to get one of our people inside Tabar's recruitment and training facility. He informed us that the missing capsuleer you seek passed through this place briefly. Moments ago, we received word that our man is now trapped there. We had hoped that Tabar's assassination would scatter the remnants of his forces and provide an easy escape, but we had no such luck. One of Tabar's remaining lieutenants, an Anmatar by, uh, by the name of Mazara Nefra, has returned to the facility and taken over. Oh, that figures. There's always somebody waiting to step in, huh? Not only is our spy your only lead caught in the spider's web, but this smuggling crew may operate again someday unless we get to start unless we put a stop to this you must run interference for us kill mazar and his followers so that our agent has a chance of escaping undetected all right off we go and warp to location Orbit. Start locking baddies up. All right. Put a missile on him. hit him pretty hard. That's 
it's one down. to boost our shield. Nice. I don't, I don't see anybody else. Let's go to the wrecks. It's easy to forget the shield generators on. That's something I'll have to get used to. I haven't had to do that for a really long time as Galente. So, something that I've been kind of wondering about, and I did a little bit of research on it, but I couldn't really find a direct answer. I had to more draw a conclusion, which means that I may have drawn the wrong conclusion. But one of the things that happens at the end of the Sisters of Eve epic arc, which you can do once every three months, is that you get an enormous boost to reputation without penalty to anybody else and you get to pick which of the four main factions you want the reputation increase to be with so it's like a free reputation gain right with no penalty at all well in the past i've always just picked the galente and then go run missions you know for the galente but uh, I think I'm going to be running missions for the Servant Sisters of Eve. Which, if I recall correctly, are based in either Amar... I want to say they're in Minmatar space. Yeah, I think they are. I think they're over by Heck. Um, which, which means... I think there's a chance I could be running missions that actually lower my reputation with the Kaldari. And so my thought right now is to go ahead and select the Kaldari to get the reputation gain with. And I'm not really sure if that's the right move or not. But what I am fairly sure about is that um, it's not something that'll break us. It's not a make or break decision. I think if I 
I think the worst it can be is it's not the optimal decision. You've destroyed a pirate ring that would have taken us months to work through. High marks all around. All right. You've done good work for me, and I have one last request. Go and tell Mazara's Amar masters that she will work for them no more. Oh, that's quite... quite bold. All right, we accept. Undock. Let me make sure that certificate isn't in the in the dock in the space station. Open up assets. Okay, it's not. So what I need to do is read details. Agent location, set destination. Oh, it's 10 jumps. Okay, well, this is a good point for a pause. So we will pause right here. And we are back. Let me unpause my timer. Resume. There we go. This is working quite well. I like it. Okay, those 10 jumps are done. We're going to zoom into this dock here. Let me know your opinions on this, guys whether you want the travel time cut out or you know does it work for you or uh, I'm just looking for opinions you know however you feel about it and the way that I'm seeing it is if I have something to talk about like if I think about some backstory for the character or something like that then I won't pause but other than that this has been my biggest concern about a video is the if you have games like this where there's you have dead time and I don't always have something to talk about then that seems like something I wouldn't want to push on anybody you know like well I mean I think I talked about this already it's not like it's hard to fast forward but it seems like it's uh, beneficial to like it's kind it's it's good for you guys I would appreciate it so I just want to see what people think about it if you have any thoughts if you don't you know we'll just roll with it but uh, let's accept here I don't want to quit the mission who am I supposed to talk to this guy okay that's done a matter of decorum I would speak with you about your search for Dagon but first a matter of decorum the late mistress Mazara's parents entrusted the safety of their child to my lord he has attempted to make amends, but I am afraid my lord can be indelicate. He would replace their daughter with reparations of gold and disc. This must be handled with more care. Take this toy. The mistress first arrived at my lord's estate with nothing to her name but this. As you destroyed her body, it is the only physical connection left in this world that her family will recognize as hers. Deliver this to the family, and with the utmost care. They have already suffered enough. Man, that's weird. They want us to be the one that hands this doll to the... See, this is what I mean. You get to see each each faction's culture. This is a very... Uh, let's accept it and get on our way. I think kind of like old European aristocracy here. Where... Oh, whoops. Sorry. Do I have everything I need? Uh, see, we need the doll. Where um, things are handled with a certain, well, like he said, a decorum, but also that when a battle is finished, it's finished, and that people should take everything in stride if they are truly of noble blood and have this quality to them, that they can handle the rigors of responsibility and the, the um, tragedies that come with it, you know? That's the idea that I get. Uh, that's the impression I get with the Amar. And especially when you see a story written out like this, where obviously we're the ones that took down... Uh, we, we, we killed the child, right? I mean, 
an adult, but it used to be a child. Uh, she. And we're expected to be the ones that drop this off. And that's that's all considered okay. Uh, Imperial... No. Here it is. Mazara family hovel. Oh, she was from humble beginnings. Well, Mazara, your choices are your own. And them's the consequences when you make those kinds of choices. All right. I don't know if this is... Maybe we need to go up here. You can double click anywhere in space and your ship will change its trajectory and head towards that location. Okay, get the doll, drop it off there, and dock. Right through the mountain. <laughs> Complete. Thank you for doing this, my friend. To see others suffer is never easy. You have proven you respect our ways. My lord now believes he can trust you. Yes, we know Dagon, and of your hunt for him. My lord hired him as a tutor for Mistress Mazara some ten years ago. Though my lord fancies himself a skilled pilot, he is very much of old Amar stock. He wished the mistress to be better educated in the newly emerging technologies and political realities than he. Dagon proved a remarkable teacher. Sadly, he and Lord Taphos had a falling out after the coronation of Empress Serum. There was an altercation, and both Dagon and the mistress fled. I do not know where Dagon himself is, but I do know the man who brought Dagon to my lord's attention. An archaeologist of some respect by the name of Dr. Canius. You'll find him at the location provided. Be warned, he surrenders nothing for free. All right, we accept, and we will undock. Well, I must have done something wrong. Read details. Uh, save location. Report to Dr. Canius. This guy should be at a warp location. Maybe I can save location. Amar standard... St he's in a... No, he is not in a station. He shouldn't be. What am I doing wrong here? Report to Dr. Canius. Show info again. 
How about you show info now? Add station to overview. Lesuda 4. Moon 4 Theology Council. Oh, it's not any of that. Okay, um, I don't think I've ever had this problem before, guys. Let me try docking again. Expires in two days. Submit. Open up people and places. Personal locations. Oh, travel, duh. Okay. I was in the wrong tab. Well, that was painful. Sorry about that, guys. That is the price you pay when you start using new things. And that was the first time I just had a mental hiccup there. Okay. Well, say la vie. Oh, I want to bring people and places back up. And we can remove this. Hey, you know another good another good news thing though is uh we're sitting here at 19.8 million isk. And uh that Gnosis, I don't think it's going to cost us much more than 20. Now we got to fit it also. But I'm thinking that 30 million would, would probably cover everything. Do I have that saved? I wonder if... I've got that saved in my fittings. Uh, holes and fits. Gnosis. Special edition. Combat battle cruiser. Non empire. Gnosis. Uh, simulate. Okay, I do not have it saved in here. I might have to do that in the future. The PIFA will actually give us an estimate on how much it'll cost for everything to fit it also. And it does that by accessing EVE market data, so it's, it's accurate. Well, it's as accurate as this, at least. because I think this will only show you how much it'll cost in regionally, whereas PIFA will look at all of EVE. It'll check JITA. Oh, we're almost out of time here. And 
here's our our boy right here, Dr. Canius. Okay, now we're going to put that on delay. But that'll wrap up this episode, guys, and um, you won't be able to tell, of course, but um, I'm off for Elite Dangerous, and I'll be doing five episodes over there. And, uh, well, actually, this, uh, this playlist is live now, so, I mean, if you happen to be looking at this channel while I'm uploading these things, you will notice that... Um, it, it, it'll be a couple days before I have more EVE Online videos up because I'm going to hop back to Elite Dangerous. But that'll close out this episode. And that should be uh, basically episode 15, I think, in this series. And so again, I am Aesop Grimm. I want to say thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. And I'll see you in the next episode where this story continues. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.